welcome to the channel. My name is Sandy, and in today's video, we are entering into Home Goods, and we're going to be looking specifically for some high-end dupes. I've been doing a lot of inspiration shopping at a lot of different stores, Crate and Barrel, CB2, RH, Our House, you name it. And now I have some ideas of looks that I'd like to recreate in my home, but on a budget. So my go-to spot for that is Home Goods. Now, the first thing that caught my eye were these travertine candle holders. I love travertine. Um, it's a very porous stone. These have some imperfections in them uh, that I did not like, but that's a beautiful, beautiful stone. And you can create some really nice table settings with something like this. I love that. I love horse decor. I love horses. And so I decorate with a lot of horses in my home currently. And whenever I see horses, I'm always drawn to the statues. I love the way that they look in the home and how they're so versatile and you can use them all around your house. So that one was a really, really cute one. I am not a professional decorator, but I have taken a few classes along the way. And one of the things that they have taught me is that your home should reflect who you are and what you like. And because I like horses, I have them all around my home. This one is a really, really nice one. I've never seen one like that before. He's really nice. I also like these wooden horse heads. These are really nice as well. Really nice. I know horses is not for everyone and you have to do what works for you in your home. It's just something that I happen to like. You also see them a lot in some of the higher end stores when you go looking for home decor. Horses, RH, I think is what made them famous some years ago. But that equestrian look is just something that I am into. And I am trying to restrain myself from purchasing additional horses because I feel like I have enough. But they just continuously come out with so many cute ones. We've already talked a little bit about the natural stone, but in a high-end home, you see a lot of natural stones in there. It's beautiful for any table decor. Very, very nice. This one is $50, um, and they do have these currently. You can see these at all of the higher-end stores now. So Home Goods is probably your best bet in terms of getting the better price for them because they can get quite pricey. Here's another one um, that is similar to the other one, but it just does not have the coloring in it. And it is a little bit more porous in color. And again, this one is running about $60. That one might be a little bit larger, but a very nice investment piece. And it is timeless. Marble bowls are another uh, great investment. These are perfect for a tabletop to put some uh, beads in it or any type of decorative balls or moss. Just whatever you want to do is beautiful uh, for a little vignette. And this one's really nice. It's $50 and it's got the gold base on them, which is really unique. There is nothing like an oversized decorative bowl. And here's one here that I thought was really nice. It's brass, it's got some texture in it. It's $40 for this one, but there's so many different things that you can do with a bowl like this. One option is to leave it empty. It makes a statement all by itself. You could add some faux fruit to it or real fruit if it's food safe. Or you could put other vase filler. The holidays are coming up, so maybe some decorative Christmas balls or something like that. The possibilities are endless, but that's a gorgeous, gorgeous investment bowl. Decorative boxes are another thing that you see in a lot of your high-end homes and stores, and they are beautiful and perfect for decorating because you can hide things in them, and that's always a good thing. So they're perfect for the entryway table. If you want to put your keys in there or your nightstand to put your remote, so on, the possibilities these again are endless. That was a really good price on that one at $19.99. Um, they do also have the ones without the lids, uh, without the knobs on them, so you can stack them, which is a really nice look. Now, these I thought were super cute. These I've never seen before, but they're music notes and they're bookends, and they were $12.99 each, and I just thought they were so unique. Now, I love a nice, earthy, natural, organic home. 
I love mixing those pieces in. I love to see a home nicely curated with those pieces in there. I just think it looks so nice. And Home Goods is a great place to pick up some of those natural pieces. This live edge little table here, I just thought it was so nice with the hairpin legs. Very, very nice. But they just have a lot of those types of pieces to choose from if that's a style that you like. And you don't have to do your whole home that way. You can mix those pieces in and it will look perfectly fine. I feel that these natural pieces go with any decor style. This piece here, I know I have seen at some of the higher end stores. I just can't put my finger on where it was exactly, but it's a really nice torso and it's got like the copper bronze type of stand that's on it. And this torso here is a dupe for the one at CB2. It's just that the one here at Home Goods is a lot smaller, but the price is a lot smaller as well. So they have lots of marble pieces in the store today. Um, I love that little hand that looks like a book in as well. Here's Here's another one of those bowls that we talked about earlier. This one looks like the scallops in the bowl or the texture in the bowl is a little bit different. And here's a few more um, travertine decorative pieces. The one in the back here kind of reminds me of the one from, I believe it's CB2 or Crate and Barrel, except for this one is on a smaller scale. This one is $24.99 compared to $199 at CB2. A little different shape and size as well, but definitely a great dupe for it to create that size. Same look. I purchased this piece and I have it styled right now just on my credenza with a couple of my decorating books and I think it looks beautiful. Here's another nice little marble piece as well and then they have the ginger jars. I think the ginger jars are definitely timeless and classic if that's a style that you like. Um, and then they have these natural looking bases that I love as well. This piece here is a dupe to the Hermes uh, torso that RH came out with some years ago. I'm not sure if they still sell him or not, but he is gorgeous and in my opinion, very timeless. Now, if you're asking how in the world would I style him? You don't. You let him style himself. You just set him where you want to set him and he will do his thing. He's gorgeous. I don't think the camera is doing this piece justice, but this is a beautiful piece. It's a long, narrow piece of wall art, but I love it. Now, it was kind of heavy and I wasn't able to get behind it to see the price, but this is new in my home goods. This is the first day that I've seen it in here and I just think it's gorgeous. The glass on the front with the glare is just not letting me get it in here. So I apologize for that, but trust and believe it's pretty. If you see it in Home Goods, get a closer look of it. This little piece of table decor is super cute. It's a cherry and they do have some, somewhat of a dupe at um, Z Gallery for those. And it's a double set. Um, but it's a cute little tabletop decor. I'm telling you, I covered every inch of this store today, but this is beautiful piece as well. This would be nice for a little vignette. Just really, really simple, but it just kind of elevates any look in the home. I just love the look of the stone. And like I said, it goes with anything. It's a neutral color. So yeah, very, very nice on a tabletop or wherever you want to put it. Another thing that I do like about these pieces is that you can use them year round. They're not seasonal in any way. Way. Here's another one with a very interesting shape and I would love this on a table with nothing in it or you could put beads in it, decorative balls, whatever you want to put, vase filler, um, potpourri, you know, it's just a beautiful bowl. I am always attracted to any type of decorative bowls or vases that have interesting shapes to them or, you know, irregular shapes or whatever. This is another really, really, really pretty piece here. I really like this. And again, you can use this empty or you can add things to it for your tabletop. But that's a beautiful, beautiful little piece. The price for that one is $50. A really nice investment piece. I call them investment pieces because I feel like they're timeless. And if it's a piece that you can use year round, I consider that to be a great investment. What are your thoughts on this bowl? Do you like this? I just think it's so different. 
love it comment below let me know here's another cute little piece this is just a vase that you can add some stems to we're in the fall season so some beautiful fall stems would be really pretty in that one this one is really pretty as well i love the stark white color i love using white in my home year round i don't have that thing where once the season ends for summer you got to put away your whites i love it any time of the year i just think it is so so pretty in a home and it just kind of elevates a look but this is a beautiful vase as well love it I ran into another piece of uh, wooden furniture that I loved it's just a live edge table that I thought was really beautiful and now we're gonna take a look at some lighting one of my favorite things to look at this lamp here immediately reminded me of the one from urban outfitters I think it's the Emil uh, lamp at a fraction of the cost I think it's a great dupe for that lamp urban outfitters just recently got on my radar for home decor but one thing that I love that they have are their floor lamps it if you are in the market for floor lamps, definitely check them out. They have some really unique ones in, so I do like that one. Um, this lamp here has been around for a little bit now. I believe this is an alabaster lamp. It is a night light, so the base of it lights up. Um, you can just have that part lit up and not your regular bulb. Beautiful lamp. This one is another very, very nice one. I just started to see this one recently. It's more on the mid-century modern style. I love the pulls on it to turn it on and off. I just think this is a very classic looking lamp. I love the shape of that. Just gorgeous. This lamp here caught my attention because of the velvet shade. That is so pretty to me. And this is a glass base, uh, base on here. So crystal or whatever. Very, very heavy. I love this little lamp. So, so nice. It's just really, really nicely made. But like I said, it was the velvet um, shade for me. That caught my attention. And it's got the little crystal finial as well. Real nice. Here's another one. I've seen this one around for a while. This is marble. I'm pretty sure with the brass base. Very, very nice um, lamp here. And I love these little twin lamps with the fluted shades on here. This is really, really nice. This will be perfect for a buffet or an entryway table or anywhere where you need more of a slim line um, lamp on there. But these are really, really nice. Here is another one with this fluted shade on here. I really, really like this. Um, I went to a lamp store recently and I shared it in a video. I think it's my New Orleans vlog. That's where I was when I went in there and I looked at all of these beautiful mid-century modern lamps. So if you've not seen that video, I will link it below so that you can go over there and check that out too, especially if you like lamps. You don't want to miss that because those were some of the most unique lamps I have ever seen this is another really pretty one i love the glass to see through bases on those those are really nice and they are really up in their game as it relates to lamp shades i'm really liking what they're doing with the lamp shades so yeah those are really nice the lamp section is the last section that we're going to check out in the store today. I hope you have enjoyed this Shop With Me video. If you have enjoyed yourself today, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed and you like this type of video and you like home decorating videos, then please hit, hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell so that you can be notified each time I upload additional videos. And to all my returning family members, thank you so, so much for your continuous support. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see you all over here on my next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>